All right, what's up, folks? It is Christmas 2017. Merry Christmas. Rich Van Tassel with you, giving you the previews of today's games. Not really that much on the line in either one. Pittsburgh can clinch, I believe, a bye. Uh, they may have gotten by with the Jacksonville loss. I guess Philly would clinch home field overall advantage if they win. But the other teams really aren't playing for much, and those teams are pretty much solidified in that spot they could win next week as well Pittsburgh or Philadelphia that is the Steelers are 11 and 3 6 and 1 on the road traveling to Houston to play the Texans who were 4 and 10 3 and 4 at home injuries for the Steelers Cody Sensible cornerback Ramon Foster guard questionable Antonio Brown wide receiver is out he's probably not going to play for the rest of the season uh, for the Texans, a lot of injuries as it's been all season. Jeff Allen, guard, Latroy Lewis, linebacker, Kendall Lamb, offensive tackle are out. Tom Savage is in injury reserve out. I, I'm curious to see what happens in this game. Houston, will they lose out? That's always one of the questions you have with these late game teams and the bad ones. Pittsburgh, a lot of wind may have been taken out of their sail after that loss. Again, they're essentially locked into the two seed, especially now that Jacksonville lost yesterday. They could either win this game or next week. Uh, the one seed is basically out of question at this point because New England won yesterday. So th that's always one of the dynamics with this game. Pittsburgh's favored by nine. I got to pick the Steelers in this one. Houston, it's just been an injury-ravaged year. But you, again, never know late in the year, especially with the way Pittsburgh uh, it went down last week. You got a Christmas game. Uh, you got to just factor in all those emotions. But in the end, I'm taking the Steelers in this one, 27-16 over what has been a wounded Houston Texans team. And then the Oakland Raiders six and eight, two and four on the road travel to Philadelphia to play the Eagles, who are twelve and two, six and zero oh at home. Again, Philly's favored by ten points in this game. I, I don't know how the odds makers really approach these things. I guess that's why I'm not an odds maker, but I'm surprised they don't factor in any of those considerations. As we said, injuries for the visiting Raiders. Clive Wofford, tight end, injury reserve out. Amari Cooper, wide receiver, questionable. Trevin Hester, defensive tackle, is out. Bruce Irwin, linebacker, questionable. David Amerson, cornerback, doubtful for the Philadelphia Eagles. All listed as questionable. Mikel Kendricks, linebacker. Stefan Wisniewski, guard. Jalen Mills, cornerback. Derek Barnett, defensive end. Oakland traveling west to east. Monday night game. Oakland, a lot of probably was taken out of their sale after the loss last week. We'll got to see what happens for the Philadelphia Eagles. They're still going to be playing hard. Of course, it's important to get Nick Foles his reps, get him involved in the offense. So you're going to have a crisp Philadelphia Eagles team against an Oakland Raiders team that I don't know what they have left. So I'm taking the Philadelphia Eagles. They might win this game by 10, uh, 31 to 20. I don't see the same dynamics as we said with the other game in this one because Oakland is the road team in this one and Philadelphia does have to be playing sharp. They still got to keep their mind focused. All right, we'll give you the recaps of these later tonight. And of course, Merry Christmas and we appreciate all subscriptions. Thank you.